Okay, so now that we have rasters uh, showing us our uh, shift in the datums, we're going to use those in order to make contours. So we're planning on using the contour tool that is also in the Spatial Analyst tool set. So if I look here under the surface, I can see here I have a contour. And this contour tool, tool set, this contour tool will actually allow us to put contour lines much like what a topographic uh, map would look like. So we're going to click on contour and then here we have our inputs. So from our from our map, uh, I mean from our lab write-up, our lab directions, it says contour both rasters using contour interval of 0.2 seconds. So we're going to choose our input raster, which I'm going to choose the latitude first. It's going to ask me where do I want to put it, and um, I think that's a fine name contour of latitude difference in latitude seconds and in the contour interval here this is where I'm going to put 0.2 so basically it's going to take the values of these rasters here actually if I show you like you see if I click on any one of these in any, any part of this uh, this map, the information tool, I can see here that there's a pixel value and that pixel value represents the the datum shift. So it's going to take these values here and make the contours. So you can see here that we have uh, 0.88 and so forth. So if I go back to my tool and I have everything set up right and then I hit OK, it's going to end up making my contours. And you can see now I have contour lines that have been added into my map. These contour lines are going to be the 0.2 seconds datum shift. And now I can do the same thing with my longitude by doing the same tool again and repeating. So I'm going to choose longitude. I like that name. Contour interval, 0.2. And then I'm going to hit OK. And you can see now I have my 0.2 seconds datum shift of latitude, of longitude and latitude. And I can compare the two just to make sure. Um, go ahead and turn this off and this off and make sure that this looks good. And I think it looks okay. And just to verify that I did this okay, I'm going to look under the map that we have on our blackboard. And just to see if they look similar. So just going to blackboard. If I look down under my assignments, I'll see here a map. Here we go. And this is the map that Dr. Dana gave us to look at. And I can see here from the contour lines, I can do a comparison just to make sure that they look okay compared to my map. So if I look here, I see these lines, and if I click off, I see these lines, good. And just to make sure that they match the states, that seems okay. And those seem okay, so good. So, so far everything looks fine on this, on the analysis part of my, of my GIS. Uh, I've, just to recap the entire lab quickly, we added in first the uh, USGS quads. 
we took this in NAT83 and used the geometry tool to calculate these fields of the centroids. Once we had the center points for NAT83, we took it over to NAT27 and we used the geometry tool again to calculate the centroids of NAT27. And then after we used the field calculator to calculate the difference between them to determine the shift and we divided that by 3600 in order to convert it to seconds. Once we had that, we exported out this entire table into a DBF. Once we exported to a DBF, we brought that and made an event where it made them into points. And just to see those points, here they are. So these are all the points that we got. Once we got all these points, we used that point tool in conjunction with spatial analyst tools to convert that over into a raster. And to do that, we used inverse distance weighting, which we got out of our toolbox, which is clicking there and looking here at the interpolation. And there was inverse distance weighting. When we used that inverse distance weighting, we got two different raster surfaces, one for latitude and one for longitude. And of course, if I click on the information button here, I will see that each of these value, uh, the pixels, the individual pixels, actually represents a, a different a different error. So if I zoom in really close here, I can see that here, this pixel is different than this pixel. Here we go. So these pixel values are different, showing the differences in in chain in, in the shift. Once we did that for longitude, we did that again for latitude. Once we had all our raster surfaces, we we used a spatial analyst tool under surfaces called contour, and it takes that raster surface and contours it. And when we did that, we got these lines, and those lines represent the topo like are like a topographic map lines representing the different uh, er different changes in the data shifts. Now we're ready to make a map out of all this, and in the next video, um, well, I'll look uh, over some of the basic map tools that you can use.